It was the most potent symbol of American air power in military history. Designed to fend off ferocious attacks of the German Luftwaffe, it dealt a death blow to Nazi wartime industrial production. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and another heavy metal diecast video. And we've got a bit of a bit of a big one here, as you can plainly see. It is a big old diecast here from Corgi in 172nd scale. It is a B17, of course. And uh, this one is called a Sweet and Lovely. And this particular one is from the 533rd Squadron of the 381st Bomb Group of the 65th Fighter Wing. And that is a bit of a mouthful of a title. And uh, this particular B-17F Sweet and Lovely would fly missions over Europe from 1943 until returning to the United States after World War II uh, being sold for scrap in October of 1945. So after completing its uh, 27 bomber missions, Sweet and Lovely would be used as a radio relay operations aircraft over the English Channel. Uh, the plane was painted with this uh, special uh, recognition markings in red and white stripes, of course. And uh, they would circle the English Channel and transfer radio messages to air sea rescue from uh, air crews that were in distress. Now, I actually got this one from uh, a seller in England and uh, I picked this up for uh, 90 pounds. And uh, I paid fifty pounds of postage and tax on top of that. Yeah, it owes me a little bit. <laughs> so, but what we've got to do is stop talking about this and open up this massive box here, and uh, get this Boeing B seventeen in our hands. And it's gonna it's gonna be a handful, I'll tell you that. All right, let's uh, let's open this one up on camera. Eh? This is a, a very big box, so it does have some details in the box, of course, uh, of the aircraft. And we'll move this out of the way. So it does have the uh, normal certificate. Uh, this one has not been uh, taken out, of course. So there is a limited run of 4,400 of these. So get one of these if you can. We'll get that lid off. Move this out of the way. And there is a sweet and lovely. We'll move some of this tissue paper out. So obviously it does come with this uh, larger type cradle stand in here. As you can uh, see, this is well still all wrapped up. So uh, <laughs> looks untouched. Uh, and of course the landing gear wheels and everything there So you can have the option for gear down or gear up of course and this big old B17 in here now I want to work out where I should grab this um, you know, Hopefully we won't break anything Come on All right Got to be gentle and try and get this Tissue paper all off. I've got to watch out for all these uh, MGs sticking out so I don't break any of that off. And that is this. Wow, this is absolutely huge. I'll move this box out of the way, of course. Boy, this is absolutely massive. <laughs> all right, well, this, as you can see, look, the, I don't know, the green itself is. A very unusual green, but I suppose maybe it was painted in this special sort of green for those uh, radio relay operations over the English Channel. I am not 100% sure, but this whole thing does look absolutely awesome. I am just trying to work out where to grab it um, so I can show you things closely. And watch out for that ball turret underneath there. All right, let's have a little look at these uh, panel lines. It is the uh, usual sort of Corgi standard. It's got some nice lines on there. It does have some great detail. Of course, the propellers do spin nicely. It does have that beautiful turret detail on there, which does spin up and down. The, the guns do elevate as well, which is pretty cool. It has got so much detail. We will run down this side. We'll have a little look at the front first and have a look at those uh, sweet and lovely details. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool, man. They do all spin nicely, of course. This is a beautiful, beautiful rendition of this B-17. This is absolutely awesome. It does come up really well. Okay, let's see if we can swing along the side here. 
does have some guns sticking out the side so you've got to be very careful especially me with my fingers they are not the most daintiest as we know it's got some great tail details The rear gunner's position. This is absolutely insane. Oh wow, if, if we, uh, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> That's got movement there. That is some great detail there. It is a little bit awkward for me to hold, unfortunately. <laughs> but I am trying, trying my hardest. The details are very nice, absolutely great. All those panel lines, beautiful on there. Let's have a little look around the front of this. On this side, check out that. And of course, with the Corgi ones, it does have all the crew members in their positions, which is really nice. That is a very spiky nose, so very, be very careful around that area. We will uh, we'll turn this B17 over and have a little look underneath. And here we go. It's got some great detail there. That looks awesome. Even though these are fairly expensive, this is a large model. Uh, you are getting a lot of die cast, and these have got some really great features. That is absolutely fantastic. We've got the, the ball turret here, the position that no one wants to be in. That does move around nice and easy. It's got some great detail there. Turn that around so you can see it. And of course, I think these do open up, yes. Oh yeah. That opens up nicely to reveal a bomb load in there. That's pretty cool. Close that up. And of course, that's where your landing gear options will be going in those little engine nail cells there. And of course, the tail wheel option will go there. Yeah, this is really nice. Ooh, this is and it is it is a big big bird this one as you can see uh, in my hands of course boy all right what we'll do is we'll, <laughs> we'll chuck some uh, uh, landing gear options on this of course and we will uh, quickly come back so you can check this out all complete alrighty we are back with sweet and lovely here in our gear down of course very straightforward you put the tail wheel uh, the extended tail wheel of course in that little slot right there and then of course the main landing gears you just uh, drop in their respective holes and they drop straight in the, the wheels themselves do do turn and roll so if uh, you like to do that kind of stuff you will be very happy it does have some tire tread and everything uh, on there the tire itself is that a uh, little bit of an unusual color uh, but i think this does set up very nicely this is an absolute beast of a model um, it's it's really hard to show you uh, how big this thing is this is very hard to hold and it's <laughs> it is Definitely, um, definitely a great looking die cast model and it does come up fantastic. And of course, we'll plug it on the deck and it does sit here beautifully and roll. I do have a, like a white cloth on here because this is quite large. So I've got a tablecloth on here for, the, for these larger videos um, because the table I do use does have a big sort of split in it. So I don't want that being on camera because that would be an eyesore. But I reckon this is very nice. And uh, of course, this is gear down, but... Uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly uh, chuck this in a uh, gear up and in flight and we'll put it on the cradle as well and you can uh, check it out like that as well. We'll be back in a second. All right, here we have it in flight. <laughs> uh, very straightforward, of course, you put that retractor tail wheel in there and then you put the uh, raised main landing gear. Um, oddly enough, they roll. <laughs> so you can roll, roll them in the engine layer cells if you wish to do that. And this is how your mighty B-17 We'll look in flight, and that does look pretty cool. And of course, if you want to chuck it on the cradle, uh, let's have a go at that. 
This is the uh, three-piece cradle. It is all metal, so it will. It is reasonably heavy. It should. Uh, well, it's supposed to hold its weight. So let us see. So you will just uh, chuck it on like so, and then we will uh, put it on the deck, of course. And that is it. <laughs> And it does uh, manipulate, so you can sort of uh, have the uh, the aircraft maybe sort of on a slight bank as well, if you you know want to display it like that, of course. But uh, this is an absolute uh, great, great little uh, diecast model. Well, when I say little, it's not really bloody little, is it? It is uh, quite a large unit. And uh, look, they they are expensive. They're expensive as hell, but boy, I. They are worth it. They are definitely great. Just even if you just get one B17 in your in your collection, these Corgi ones are quite quite nice, and they got all the crew members. It does look really really well made. I'm definitely really happy with it for sure. But of course, this is what these videos are for for you to check them out. If you don't have one of these, you can check this out and uh, you know, make your own mind up if you decide to uh, enjoy this or hate this. Uh, that is your own decision. But of course, if you do like this, like I do, give us some of these. And uh, click that button somewhere down down in there on the screen. And of course, if you have yet to subscribe to our channel, feel free to do that as well. And uh, thank you very much, of course, for checking out another one of our videos and an uh, extra large one today. This is a super size one. So once again, this is by Corgi in 172nd scale. It is the B-17F Flying Fortress, sweet and lovely from the United States Army Air Force, of course. And it is from the 533rd Squadron, the 381st Bomber Group, of the 65th fighter wing <laughs> and that is a mouthful so <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you got to the end of the video and it wasn't too boring for you i will wind up by uh taking some photos of this of course and uh you can check out the photos at the end of the video of course without these fingers all over it and uh, you can check this out in a bit more detail and boy it does have a lot of detail all right guys once again thank you so much for watching you all have an awesome rest of your day cheers